hello and welcome to Dublin in Journals and today I'm going to be doing some planning in my bullet journal which I'm keeping in my camel traveller's notebook from Traveller's Company and let's get to my planning page this is looking really full now <laughs> which is lovely so that was last week and this is my meal planning page for this week. So I've already planned my meals out and done my list of ingredients. And I just want to decorate this page. Now I was gifted this beautiful handmade paper traveler's notebook by one of my subscribers, Kiwi Penguin. Thank you again. I did show an unboxing and I know there were some coffee things. So I know there's coffee stickers in there and there's some coffee washi tape because I'm I'm doing a coffee theme at the moment if you haven't seen the previous videos oh and I'm keeping that's my travel journal I'm keeping that in there so I think it was those two things that I wanted to pull out of here to use and let's get started so I have this coffee washi tape as I just said and actually I think I might put a little scrap of paper first to decorate down here and which way round does it go it goes that way round so I'm just going to distress that so I've got my gathered twigs distress ink so that I can just ink where I've just torn the paper to make it look nice and rustic and I need my glue stick I need to put more glue on my to buy list in a minute. I wonder if I'll remember. <laughs> so I'm putting a little bit of torn paper here and then some of this lovely coffee washi tape. espresso latte piece and I think I'm going to use some of that up at the top as well where I've put my meal plan sticker I like that cup of coffee with a waffle <laughs> okay so let's pop that one there and then I think I will add a coffee sticker So what one shall I go with? Just trying to decide, maybe pop one down there. Like so. And I think I, I feel like I want something up here. Let's go with does that go hmm. maybe this one and I haven't distressed my page so let me just do that there we go and what about another sticker up here these look a bit big actually Is. is it a chocolate that's being opened <laughs> I'm not sure pop it up in that corner I'm just going over my writing slightly but I'll trim it I can hear my partner making coffee as I decorate my page with coffee <laughs> stickers. I just heard the grinder going. Okay, so this week we, ha we are going to try a vegetarian paella, a bean and a halloumi stew, a peanut risotto, a satay sweet potato curry, 
a lentil savoury and a vegetarian carbonara. So I don't know what that's going to come, come out like. We did have the week before a pasta with creamy walnut sauce and the boys didn't like it. It's been the only fail so far. Yeah, the tagliatelle with creamy walnut sauce. They didn't like that. So I'm going to have a try at a different vegetarian pasta dish to see whether or not I can replace their favourite carbonara, which of course has bacon in it. Okay, so I think that page looks nice. So I'm going to move on from there. And this is my actual planning page. So let's again distress the paper. And I don't actually have very much on this week. I'm going to put in all my usuals. So, for example, we have my son's piano lesson and we have karate and dance and dance and we've got a new one actually my son his audition for the school play that they're putting on and he has to go to rehearsals after school on a wednesday so i'll make a note of that my friend is picking him up this week we're going to take it in turns so i don't have to collect him but i just need to remember that he'll be late home and I have a friend coming for coffee on Tuesday. Oh, I've just remembered that Kiwi Penguin, who I just mentioned, sent me some blotting paper and I want to try it. And I think it was this. So I might cut that to the size. Oh, it's going to be perfect. I'll cut it to the size of the page, but let's just see whether or not it works. Well, I think it was already dry, <laughs> but I'm going to cut that to the size of this page and then keep it in there or in this traveller's notebook so that I've got that blotting paper in a much bigger size than the teeny tiny blotting paper <laughs> that was all I was able to get in the UK. OK, so where was I? I need to put in my friend that is coming for coffee on Tuesday with her puppy. She has a gorgeous little puppy that was born the day before my puppy. So they're going to have a puppy play date. <laughs> we used to have play dates with our children when they were little. Now we have play dates with our puppies. In fact, for those of you who are interested in my puppy, some of you are, some of you probably aren't at all. I will put a little clip of her at the end of this video, which I took when I was, it was a little video that I took when I was doing my last lot of videoing and it made me laugh so I thought I'd include that for you for just in case you're interested but I'll put it right at the end okay so I do have these really cute little new stamps that Kiwi Penguin sent me so I'm using all her things this in this planning in this planning session and this one has got little karate <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh but it's so funny okay so that's my little karate and then I've got some coffee beans here which I can use somewhere and I'm obviously going to need to get some groceries. I'm going to try and get a grocery delivery so if I book it I would try and get it for Sunday. And yeah what a quiet week I really haven't got very much that I need to do so hopefully if I can keep my mood positive I'll be able to get some journaling and drawing and things done this week which will be really nice so let's just decorate this page I pulled out these sticky notes and I thought they're coffee obviously the picture of coffee taken from the top with one of those swirly cappuccino love hearts I can't do those <laughs> I do froth coffee for, for cappuccinos but I can't seem to I can't seem to make patterns with the milk even though my partner bought me a book telling me, <laughs> showing me how to do it. So I need to pull that back out and have another go. So I'm going to have a to-do list here. And then I'm putting some extra glue because I don't want to use them as sticky notes. I'm just using them as little kind of spots that I can... There we go. I think a little bit more glue here. So I can have a to-do list and a to-buy list. And then I was going to add, will that fit on there? Maybe I'll draw a box. So I want a to-do list and a to-buy list. Just grabbed 
grabbed my box of pens so I use these Pentel brush pens and that's a nice coffee colour so I'm going to use that one so we've got to do and to buy and I think I'll add some more washi so let's go with the other second washi tape which says good coffee on it <laughs> let's see how it works oops it did say good until I ripped it I'm gonna go from there where it says coffee I think that up here and I think I will put just grabbing some more washi tape to see what else might look nice with this I like that dark brown one actually with the coffee coloured one so I'll go for those so I'll put a little dark piece here and here And then a lighter one, like so. And then let's choose another one of these lovely stickers. Oh, I like that coffee pot. Let's put the coffee pot. I used to have one of these. I mean, I use an um, espresso machine now, but these are the ones that you put on the top of your hob. I don't know what happened to that. They make very good espresso. Okay, and then I want to do a box for my dog training schedule. So I'm just going to do a little box, like so. I have two of them, and I just want to track some training this week. I will do Nimue and River and I bought this book which is the big book of tricks for the best dog ever <laughs> and it has beginner tricks and it has intermediate tricks and advanced tricks now I've looked all through this and River can do all the beginner tricks oh I don't think she can do sit pretty actually but she can do most of these. So I just want to find something new for her to learn this week. Shall we try sit pretty? So she's got to sit. <laughs> if you can see in the picture, it's training her to sit with her paws up. So let's do sit pretty for River. And Nimue, we're gonna just do um, heel work. And then I can tick it every time I practice it this week, which will be cool. Now on my to buy list, I do need to buy, <laughs> I have such an exciting life, don't I? I need to buy school trousers for my son. And I need some glue, I just said, didn't I? And is there anything else? I can't think of anything at the moment. So I will leave that and add things as they occur to me. And I think I have room for another little sticker here. It's perfect timing. Thank you so much for sending me all these coffee stickers when I was doing a coffee theme, which you wouldn't have known at the time. <laughs> Should we have a little bit of this washi tape here? And hope that nothing comes up that I need to do on Sunday. Oh, we're going on a new, we're going to a new place on Saturday, which is called Borden Farm. And apparently, they have quite a few acres of dog walking area, plus a coffee shop and gift shop. And we've never been there, and it's really close. So we thought we would try that with the dogs this weekend. So that will be fun. And the other thing I wanted to do, actually, is to start planning a holiday. So I need to find places that are dog friendly for us to camp. Maybe we thought in the spring we might try stopping at a pub, because it's a bit chilly in the spring, isn't it? We might stop at a pub. 
um, for a couple of days with our dogs if we can find somewhere suitable and COVID allowing. And so I've decorated my meal plan page. I've got my planning page all ready to go for the week. And the last thing that I do is decide on my focus for the week. And last week I picked this card which said flow on it. And so I started thinking about going with the flow. So going with the flow tends to mean that you either do what other people are doing or you agree with other people's opinions. And it's sometimes given as very positive advice, which it can be. So for example, suppose something happens that I can't control, like when my heating broke down and I had a planned activity that day, I was going somewhere with one of my daughters, but I had to wait in for a repair person. Well, in those kinds of situations where you really can't control it very much, then going with the flow seems like a really helpful sort of mindset to go into. If you get stressed or frustrated or angry, then it adds nothing positive to the situation. So it seems better to just go with the flow and find alternative things to do in response to whatever it is that has been a catastrophe for you. And another example is I have friendships I value with people, but I don't necessarily share their opinions. And I don't go with the flow in the sense of I would agree with their opinions, but I often choose to avoid expressing my opinions or contradicting them or whatever. However, there can be disadvantage to going with the flow. If we simply go with the flow, we might not acknowledge and work through important feelings that we need to. And sometimes with disrespectful people, it is important to set boundaries. You shouldn't just agree with what everybody else says and does. You need to make sure that your own boundaries are clearly set. And if you simply go with the flow, it can lead to you sacrificing your own needs, maybe even losing your sense of self in the worst kinds of case. And it can also prevent you from affecting change and noticing options if you always just go with the flow and don't react to things that happen, you might not notice options that in fact you do have. So I thought I found it quite interesting to think about going with the flow and how often I do and how often I don't. <laughs> and it can be quite a difficult thing to, you know, set boundaries with other people, especially when you don't want to hurt their feelings or upset them in any way but sometimes you need to so that was my card last week very serious wasn't it so let's see what we get this week so I'm still using my magical herb oracle and I'm gonna pick another card so let's just give it a shuffle Okay, let's see what card we get this week. Meditation. And that plant pictured on here is a skull cap. Never heard of it. I hadn't heard of the one last week either. So a skull cap, shall we see what it is? So that's number 27 in the book. It's a member of the mint family. It's a wetland perennial herb native to North America. I wonder if all these plants are American plants, which is why I might not know them, but I probably wouldn't know them anyway, so. <laughs> and the key word that we have here is meditation. So that's gonna be really good to think about some of the benefits and whether or not there's any occasion where meditation is not helpful or so on. So I will have a think about that this week. So first, of course, I want to decorate my page. So I'm gonna get myself some paper and, oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see it, sort of see-through paper where you can see the fibres, really pretty. So I'm going to go down the bottom here. And of course these cards are all much the same colour, so they're going to go really well with my coffee theme. So I need to just distress my page. And stick down my piece of paper. And then I think I will go with some more of my coffee washi tape. Why not? Well, I've got it out and it's so pretty. Now, which one? Which one shall I use? I might use the thin one. Oh, so it says coffee is always a good idea. That's what it actually says. It just says, is always. And I'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown, pop it that way and 
a little bit of the lighter brown and pop it that way so we've got some paper and some washi and then I think I will find whoops got everything falling everywhere I'm going to find one of these pretty labels that I was gifted so which one should I pick move that one out of the way mm. and decide mm. I'm going to go with that circle one I think because I've got a sort of rectangle shape so it adds a different shape so let's pop that i just want to make a little triangle here and then one more coffee sticker we're gonna have much room to write now am i <laughs> oh actually there's a chocolate and that looks nice doesn't it with that so i'm gonna put this chocolate sticker here and then I'll do a photograph of my card and I'll pop it there. So that's all I'm going to be doing today. I have just simply done my meal plan, done my week's planning. I've got a place to write my to-dos, my to-buys, to track my dog training and to reflect on my focus of the week. So thank you so much everyone for watching. And if you're not interested in looking at the dog video, bye. And if you are, I will add it on the end. I've just been editing a video for you guys and I've turned around and my dogs who were sleeping on their beds seem to have swapped places because somehow <laughs> Puppy has got up onto the high bed. What's yours down there? What are you doing on Mummy's bed? And she is just such a sweetie pie. She's so good, aren't you? Look, she lets me touch her, I can look in her ears, we can go in your mouth, can't we? Yeah, no biting, you're a good girl. There's mummy down there. River, what's your baby doing on your bed? Here comes mummy, and mummy's looking out of the window, and then wasted on the bed. Oh, what's she doing on your bed, River? Don't throw her off. <laughs> and they're getting in a tangle and having a little play. Oh my goodness. I don't know how she got up there because I had my back turned because I was doing a video. Aren't they just? Where's my river? River. Kim, show everybody your pretty face. That's it. <laughs> there you are. Oh yeah, you have a tummy tickle. Yeah, you have a tummy tickle, little sweetie pie. Have a little tummy tickle. What about Mama? She's always washing you. River. Stop washing her for a minute and, and be famous on YouTube. Be famous. Good girly. Good girly. And you're a good girly too, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. You're in a very high bed. She wants a tummy tickle too, see? <laughs> The delight of my life guys my gorgeous gorgeous dogs and my little tiny puppy and her mama who's giving me a good old lick <laughs> oh, okay say bye river bye papa bye that's it good girl <laughs>